Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to start talking about fancy Indian club swinging. We do not talk much about fancy Indian club swinging on this channel because we tend to talk about heavy club swinging. Heavy club swinging is the absolute best way to improve your athleticism in the smallest period of time for the least amount of money. And it mimics all of the movements that make you human, that make everybody human. Humans have thumbs for a reason. It is so that we can hold on to levers. Things like hammers or axes, levers have allowed humanity to build all of human civilization. They have also allowed humans to do things like hunt because humans do something unique. We throw very well, and that separates us from almost everything else in the animal kingdom. In heavy club swinging, you work on your inside circles, your outside circles, and your shield casts, and everything is built off of that basic series of movements. For all of human history, you've had a couple of strategies. You've had heavy clubs, and then you've had light clubs, or some version of light clubs. Light clubs allow you to move two weights for extended periods of time, and light club swinging acts as joint mobility for most people. By swinging clubs, people have an objective. By putting things inside of your hands, it changes the way your brain functions. And if you work on basic club movements, you start simple and you move complex over time, and you build an idea every day, people can convince themselves to work out in an ever increasingly complex and creative way for years at a time. Light club swinging, think these are one pound, and think this is, I don't know, 30 pounds, 30 times difference. The reason we're gonna start talking about light club swinging on this channel is for rehab. I talk a lot about joint mobility as warm up. Use functional movements, functional movements, movements based on things that you do in the real world to warm up your body for say eight to 10 minutes at the beginning of every workout that you do from now until the day that you die. If your neck works, your shoulder works, your hip works, then your spine generally works, then people tend to not be in pain. They tend to keep a level of athleticism and by doing joint mobility every day, they check in with their body to see if something is hurt or injured from the previous day. And then by moving slowly through the range of movement, they can start to make it better. Think about light clubs as something that helps people engage in joint mobility. There have been a bunch of versions of this in human history, Shaolin martial arts forms, Japanese martial arts forms like Goju, Ru, Kempo, Shotokan, all of the martial arts that have forms are really joint mobility and walking patterns mixed together that allow people to remember useful athletic movement patterns that somebody invented or thought were really useful at some point in history. Clubs, we're gonna start taking away all of that context and we're gonna start rebuilding that idea over again. When I first got into heavy club swinging, I was trying to learn the Shaolin martial art known as golden melon hammers. Golden melon hammers are, you got it, clubs. They are a big handle with a big globe on top and people swung them in specific martial patterns in order to develop strength and athleticism specific to the oldest sport in history, trying to stay alive. That led me on the path of heavy clubs, where we removed a lot of the martial context and took it back into pure sports training. Inside circle, moving towards your center line, outside circle, moving away from your center line, shield cast, when you put those things together, you start to develop mills or throwing patterns and reverse mills, outside throwing patterns. The concept of light Indian clubs, we're going to remove the footwork in the beginning. We're gonna start by learning to move our arms in specific patterns for the purpose of rehab. I've been thinking a lot about this because there's about 220 million people, million people just in America that will benefit from doing something like this. Clubs are going to start filling in the gap. We're going to give people a reason to do joint mobility infinitely. 
The product that we are looking at today are these low guest two pound clubs. These wooden clubs are about 15 years old. They are Motion RX. They are made out of wood, but you can't get wood clubs very effectively anymore. They are about five times more expensive than polypropylene clubs. Polypropylene clubs are injection molded clubs made out of this specific type of plastic. It is the exact same type of plastic that we use when we do full contact staff fighting drills. The point of this is that it will stand up to things like axes. It will stand up almost infinitely and it will last almost infinitely. I've been looking for a good product that will allow us to start to do this. And these were $30 on Amazon. They come in one pound, two pound, and three pound increments. These are the first ones that I've gotten, the first ones to show up. I will get all of them, and I'm gonna start shopping from different companies to start to find the best possible product that is cheap, affordable, and generally indestructible. The whole point of heavy club swinging is that it is joint mobility. Most people, their shoulders don't work, their core doesn't work. I've been designing a program for the last several years called Training for Overweight and Deconditioned Individuals, focused on people who have lost the ability to stand due to something like injury, and that has caused them to be deconditioned. There are three sections of that program. There is a kettlebell or dumbbell section focused on a deadlift, a squat, and an overhead press. There is a club section that will be released in September of 2023 that focuses on heavy clubs, starting at maybe the five pound weight limit. And we are gonna add a third section to that program. We are going to add one pound, two pound, and three pound clubs. Heavy club and light club are different courses of study. Heavy club. Simple movements, inside circle, outside circle, shield cast. The goal is to keep the numbers of reps low, say in three to five reps, and to add sets and then to go up in weight. Starting at five pounds, finishing for men around at least 25 pounds and finishing for women probably somewhere in the 15 pound range depending on frame size. Women tend to vary greatly in frame size between like five foot two and six foot tall. So that number tends to vary quite a bit. The club section will focus on one, two, and three pound clubs where you're going to work on increasingly complex movements and you're going to work on them for time, which means you're going to learn to not put things down for long periods of time. It's gonna be a simple idea, but I think it's very important. There are a lot of people who are not capable of standing all the way up yet because they are that deconditioned. We need to find a way to teach them real athletic skills for the least amount of money. And this is how we're gonna do it. Starting with two minutes of work and adding a minute each day, adding complexity each day, building up to 10 minutes and 20 minutes in the seated position, and then getting eventually to people standing up. If people have lost an ability to stand up. One of the ways you attack it is not hips up, it is shoulders down. When people sit down, they round their body, their core tends to shut off. We need to find a way to get their core to hold their body upright. Moving clubs in increasingly complex ways will attack it from the neck to shoulders down, build up in time, stand up, start the program over again, repeat it. You can never run into the end of clubs. There is an infinite amount of complexity, literally an infinite amount of things you can do. And we can design programs based on specific movement patterns with these products for a long, long period of time. I'm gonna write at least 10 years of training for these things, and we're gonna see what we can do. This is the club that we're gonna be using. So it is indestructible polypropylene. The weird thing that I see on this immediately is that there is texture on the upper part and no texture on the lower part. I think that that's probably backwards, but we're gonna use what we can get that's affordable and we will adapt our training style to the equipment itself. The whole point of the ball is that it's going to allow people to hold it in weird ways so that they're going to be able to work on increasingly complex movements. Every time I just do a wrist circle, I am affecting my elbow, I am affecting my shoulder. As I move it further out from my body, I will be affecting my core. 
The heavier the weight, the further it gets away from me, the harder the muscles on the opposite side of your body fire. Pretty standard idea. The goal is to give people economic ways that they can actually solve their health problems. Exercise is the most important thing, but not just running on a treadmill or standing up or doing whatever. Exercise needs to be infinitely complex forever. The human mind craves complexity. The human body craves complexity. Heavy club swinging and light club swinging is the way that you can add that in for absolutely ever.